Are you ready to rumble? Welcome back once again to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your host, and today we're gonna bring you something very interesting. Unless you guys have been living under a rock, you know that AMD has released a brand new GPU out into the market. Now, why is this? Well, when AMD looked at their lineup between their 7770 and their 7850, they felt that there was a gap in between there that could be filled, and therefore, the new HD 7790 was born. Now, today we're gonna bring you the review comparison against its little brother card the 7770 which many of you have asked for so with that said let's get ready to rumble and jump in to the ring so now let's talk about some of the basic differences between the new 7790 and its little brother the 7770 now the 7770 its gpu was called cape Verde, and it actually featured a die that was slightly smaller than the new 7790. The 7790 is based off the new Bonaire GPU, and actually, this is the very first of the Sea Islands to actually hit the market. There'll be many more that are coming out, but this is the first. Now, stream processors, which is really the most important thing about the card, is a major difference between the two. On the 7790, we see 896 stream processors. On the 7770, we see only 600. There are also some difference in the total available memory bandwidth. Now, take into consideration that both these cards are overclocked. On the 7790, we see a total available memory bandwidth of 102.4 gigabytes per second. On the 7770, we see slightly lower at 83.2 gigabytes per second. So there is a pretty big difference there. Now let's talk about the GPU core clock speed. One thing to take note of, the 7770 is actually clocked higher. It's at 1100 megahertz. On the 7790, the core clock is at 1075. But the memory speeds on the 7790 are actually faster. We see the memory speeds at 1600 megahertz, and on the 7770, we see them back to 1300 megahertz. So there are some differences there as well. Both cards feature one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory. Both cards feature 128-bit memory interface. All those things are pretty much the same. So now let's take a look at the aesthetics of the card. We can see that right off the bat, both of these cards feature aftermarket cooling. The real difference is one has VaporX, which is the 7770, and the 7790 has DualX. You also wanna take note that both of these cards are Sapphire-based cards. Other cards from other manufacturers will differ in how they're sized, what the shroud is and everything else on the card and for those various models and pricing make sure you guys check out the link right below the like button both the cards that we're looking at today feature the same 7 inch PCB although the 7770 has a blue PCB and the 7790 has a black one which you know may matter to some people but I don't think it's too much of a concern now let's take a look at the rear IO on the rear IO of the 7770 you can see that the card features two dual link DVI connections, a single HDMI and a single standard display port. On the 7790, however, things get a little bit different. There's a black port and a white port. The black port is a single link DVI port and the white one is the dual link. You also see once again, the standard HDMI and standard display port technology. Now that we've seen the features differences between the 7770 and the 7790, and we've got that clear in our head, let's now jump in and see some performance comparisons. Now, we know that our Red Dawn Extreme system isn't you know, the absolute highest in gaming system. It was meant more for workstation slats gaming, but we're kind of waiting for Haswell to come out. When Haswell comes out, we'll be changing it up and changing out our test system. Right now, we're using the SRX motherboard. We're using two 2660 Xeons. We've got two HyperX drives from Kingston that are in RAID 0, 80 gigabytes of Patriot memory, just all kinds of cool stuff, including an OCZ PCI 256 gigabyte ugh, boot drive. That's right. So this thing really does rock in a lot of circumstances. So with that said, let's jump in and let's see the test. <laughs>
Okay, so there you have it. We've seen the differences in features. We've seen the differences in performance, and we can see that as far as your sheer performance goes, the 7790 does blow away the 7770. Although, there is a slight kickback to that. The card is actually running quite a bit hotter as well. Pretty much, this new card is running, hmm, hot, 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 hot. Now, with drivers and stuff, and as they do the fan timing, and they custom do that, maybe it'll actually get better. Some companies spend a lot of time doing custom fan tuning. I think with this release, they were just trying to pretty much get the card to market, but as the drivers improve and that fan tuning gets better, we'll probably actually see some better cooling on the card. So if you guys also want to see the full written review on the new Radeon HD 7790, make sure you guys check that out over on our website, www.techoftomorrow.com where we have all the scores, lots more picks, and just cool stuff all about this card. Now in this review, we will also have comparisons against all the NVIDIA cards, which I know you folks are wanting to do. And also something very cool. You guys can click right here in this little link right next to me and go directly over to the review, which I think is actually a pretty cool feature they've got here on YouTube. Like usual, I hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure you guys hit that like button. Show us that you appreciate us. And if you're not subscribed to Tech of Tomorrow, we'd appreciate that you do so, so you never miss out on any action that's going on here.